Morning everyone. So today I want to talk about drawing from memory uh, or our imagination. So an exercise I like to do as a warm-up, uh, you know, maybe before I start my, my real studies, um, is to just to draw something. Uh, any part of the body, it could be a complete pose, it could be a partial, but to just draw something without any reference and it's a really great way of kind of like testing what it is that we know. Um, it might open up some questions of what it is that we need to study or improve upon. Um, so this is, it, it's a fun exercise. So, so let's take a look. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do something relatively simple today, uh, just as an example. Um, once again, I would pick something that you, you feel fairly confident with. Um, so we're going to pick a pretty standard pose here, upper, lower, torso kind of idea. Um, but as I said, doing this without, uh, without reference is, is really useful. I've done so many of these over the years and they, they just really help and kind of help develop or help me understand how much visual vocabulary I, I really know. Because even if you don't plan on just drawing from your imagination, the, the fact is, I think what's really important to understand is to not only draw what you see, but to draw what you know. Because then you can bring yourself to the conversation and you won't just be blindly copying uh, what it is that's in front of you. So. I'm a firm believer that this is, this is a, 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 a very useful idea. Let's put some foreshortening on this leg. This is going to be coming out something like this. Obviously this cylinder is coming towards us. Something like that. This knee is going to be obviously be lower than that one. As I said, you don't have to, you, you know, you could just pick a small part of anatomy. It, do, it doesn't have to be um, an entire drawing. Um, it can be, but, it, but it, it certainly doesn't have to be. But it really helps you, like, kind of fine-tune the, the, the ideas of, okay, do I understand the proportions? Do I understand what's actually happening anatomically in this, this particular area or whatever it might be? Um, it's just a really useful, it's a really useful exercise. And obviously someday you might, the thing that you might be testing is, okay, how well do I understand um, foreshortening? So you, you'd, you'd do a, a heavily foreshortened pose. Um, another day it might just be, okay, I want, to, I, want to, I want to check how much of the anatomy of the upper leg is. It could be, it really could be just about anything. Um, so I'm not gonna go in and do this whole drawing. I'm just gonna kind of, I'll just hit certain parts here because obviously we've we've looked at poses like this before. But what I really want the what I really want to kind of get across today is this concept of us kind of testing our our own our own knowledge of what it is that we're drawing. Something like this, coming down the overlap of the calf, coming down this way. It's going to be going down there. And there's the mass of that, that front muscle of the, of the upper leg. These are a lot of fun. It can be frustrating sometimes, but um, they'll inform you in a way that just about no other exercise will uh, as far as what it is that you, your level of understanding of something is.
And of course, because we don't have a model, we're also going to have to do a what's called a conceptual lighting pass, which is basically also lighting the form from our imagination, which is a really useful thing to understand because there's going to often be times where the, let's say you're working in a class with fluorescent lights and there's light everywhere. You're not necessarily going to be able to rely on the way that the model is lit in the class to inform your decisions on how to light the form. So if you can understand like a conceptual lighting pattern for your figure, you really can um, kind of be in control of the situation. So if the lighting in the class is terrible, just come up with your own. So here I'm kind of lighting as if uh, our light source is coming this way. So this side of the form is going to be lit. Obviously this side is going to be going into shadow. So I'm finding my, my core shadows um, where the form is turning in space and uh, I'm going to be lighting it accordingly. Something like that. Same thing on this side as we've talked many times, the sartorius coming down this way, creating this kind of subdivision here. So we know that this is all going to be in shadow right here. Maybe coming down to the knee. Something like that. Generally, I don't tend to spend too long on these. It's really kind of like a, a quick, quick check. See what it is maybe that I, I'm, I'm not quite getting or something that I feel needs to be, to be worked on. Um, And as you can see, you can just, you can keep going with this. So, so this is a relatively, a relatively quick study, but this could be, you could really, you know, challenge yourself with these. Like I like to do right now. I, one thing I'm doing for myself is I'm doing like heavily foreshortened exercises, not only to test, um, my anatomy, but also to really understand how that anatomy lays when the, 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 the figures heavily foreshortened, for example. So we can we can get into that and we are going to discuss foreshortening in more depth and those types of things in future lessons. But I just wanted to throw this out there as an idea. Have fun with this, um, but this is a really useful exercise. If you do it and you're not happy with, with the result, it will start to propose questions. Okay, what, it is, what is it that I need to kind of focus on? Okay, that part of the body I did really well. I have a good understanding of that. But then I got to this part, the drawing started to fall apart. So you can start to make an analysis of where your strengths and your weaknesses are. This, this internal uh, visual vocabulary that you're going to develop and build over time, so important for when you get in front of a model um, in your decision-making process. So it's a bit of fun um, and just enjoy it. So that's it for today. I'll see you all really soon. Take care.